All right, so I'm here with Megan's brother, Mikael. How you doing today, bud? Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, that's what's up. So Mikael is big and strong. Flex those muscles for me, huh? Yeah, he works out. I'm hurt, so I can't lift anything. But today we're gonna find out how much old Ritzy weighs. That's a big chubby girl right there. I would have done it myself, but you got this. So the way that we always weigh animals is that first we weigh ourselves. So go ahead and step on the scale for me. Weigh yourself for me. Let's see how much Mikael weighs. We got 129.0. That'll be easy math. And then now, can you do me a favor and pick up that there dog? It's a big girl. Lift, <laughs> lift with the legs, right? Isn't that what they would say? You got it, Ritz. She, she's sweet. She won't bite or anything. She's so timid. Oh, yeah. That's a good Ritzy. That's a good doggy right there. Now let's step back and let's see. 170. So that means that this dog weighs 41.4 pounds. That's incredible. Wow. All right, thanks, Mikael. Yep. You're a big girl, Ritz. You're 41 pounds. So, so big. So big. It's okay. We still love you, though. All right, guys. I'm trying to be really quiet and sneaky. If you can't see it already, though, look right there. That strange orange kitty has come back. The one that was hauling butt a few days ago that ran for a whole mile straight without looking back once. I've never seen a cat do that before. I wonder if he, how long till he notices I'm right here. I honestly thought he was. Oh, he just saw me. Aww, he is so skittish. That poor guy. It's gonna take a long, yeah. he went down the steps and I didn't see where he went after that. It's gonna take so long to make friends with him. Oh, I see, I see his face. I see his eyes right there. Uh -huh. Hi, little kitty, it's okay. It's a big guy. You can't hear me through the, can't hear me through the door. But we're still working. Good to know he's still coming back. <laughs> Look at him, puppy. Oh, goodness. You see his eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if someday he comes into the house willingly. Oh, huh? goodness. Oh, how, long you think it'll, how long do you think it'll take? A year? Three. He looks just like Finn. I don't okay, know. I told you. I, I, when I stood up, I was like, is that a Finnegan? Wait, speaking of Finnegan. Oh, my. <gasps> Finny, what are you doing, bug? Hey, buddy. Little bug. Oh, now he's, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is a big day for me. It's gonna be the first time ever that I trim the grass with the tractor. I'll go show you the attachment that we put on it in a second that we use to trim the grass with it. But I've done, I've mowed the lawn with the lawn mower a thousand times. However, back over there, in the bigs pasture the grass is too thick and the terrain is kind of uneven it's like very what, what's the word it's like very rocky like up and down terrain it's not smooth it's not flat so um the lawnmower would get messed up if i tried to use it over here that's why i need the more durable and larger tractor you can see the grass is really high typically oh over there in the back is probably even higher you know, normally uh, we would just leave it as it is because it's plenty of grass for the horses and the cows and everything to nibble on. And when they nibble on the grass, not only does it nourish them, but it also will subsequently lower the grass so that it makes less work for us. It's like a win-win situation. The only thing is that the horses went to Longhorn Lester's, Jake took Moo and a few of the other cows. So we only have four animals that live back there and, we, and then we had to block them off from this front area because they were moving Bree's house in as y'all know. And to add on top of all of that, we've had quite a bit of rain recently. So just a lot of circumstances that cause the grass to grow really high and leave the animals with too much. What's, what's the expression that they always say? with to leaving the animals with more to bite off than they can chew as they would say <laughs> but no worries um i remember it's funny i used to always get so mad at my dad when i was younger i was like a kid i wanted to throw the football in the yard and just play video games with him and my dad was like I'll, i will in a little bit ellie but i gotta do some chores first i gotta weed eat i gotta mow the grass i gotta do this and i thought those were just the most the st most stupid waste of time chores ever 
but now that I'm older, I finally realized that they're not quite the biggest waste of time because if you don't trim your grass, if you don't keep it maintained, you'll have snakes in no time, especially here in boiling hot Texas. And I hate snakes, so I have no problem keeping the grass low if it means the snakes will be gone. And it makes it look nice. So under here somewhere is the blade, and then there's a little lever right here I can use to control how high and low it goes. I might trim it to about three or four inches. I don't want to trim it all the way down like this grass right here. I still want the bigs to have quite a bit to nibble on. So I'll probably leave it about three times as high as it is right now over here. But I just want it to be low enough to where no snake will look at it and say, you know what, it looks like a nice habitat for me. <laughs> yes, that's the last thing that I want. Got my, got my banana, got my Gatorade so I can stay well nourished because it is really hot out here. Got cousin Brienne over there feeding the goats, cousin Carter. Actually, fun fact y'all may not know, this may seem a bit rambling, but if your cousin has a child, do y'all know what their relation to you is? A lot of people think that if your cousin, if your first cousin has a child, it, then the child would be your second cousin, but that's actually incorrect. The child of your first cousin in relation to you is actually called your first cousin once removed. Did y'all know that? <laughs> I remember I had that debate with a family member one time, so we were Googling all of this, and that's how we discovered that. A second cousin, for anybody that might be confused, is when you and somebody, y'all's parents are cousin. So, for example, I have a second cousin named Caitlin, and the reason that she's my second cousin is because her mom and my dad are first cousins, if that makes sense. Oh, Ritzy. That right there should reflect how hot it is out here. It just drains every little bit of energy you got out of you. <laughs> okay, enough chitty chatter, enough rambling. Let's get started. All right, just to give a quick demonstration of how effective this is. Big old patch of grass right there where my finger's pointing to. I'm gonna drive right over it so you can see the before and after. Right there, you see it? Let's go. All right. I'm driving over it right now. Boom, look at that. Before and after. You can see right there how high it is on this side and then how low it is where I cut it at. So we're going to do that all through here. Get it looking beautiful. Let's go. Ready? I'm not going to make her do the whole yard the first time, but goodness gracious, she can't be done already. Oh yeah, look at that. You can tell the areas that she just drove over. She's been cutting really good. Guys, I don't know if y'all can tell from here. I think you should be able to though. That is a beautifully cut pasture right there by yours truly. And a little fragment of it by my sweet fiance right here. But it's a job well done. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Look at them, they've already flocked over to uh, they're already, they don't flock, they're goats. They're hurt, they they're walking over, eating the freshly cut grass, having a good old time. <laughs> having a good old time. There, right, that right there would be a flock. That's a flock. Yeah. Flock into the grass. <laughs> well, with that said, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. Hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.